Hello, 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 this is Attorney Mike Grevin coming to you from Chicago as usual. And I just got done watching uh, Jeffrey Bloom hearing. He, he, I have him on a bunch of videos. I didn't have time to put it together. They're, they're, they're somewhere in there. The, the most most notorious is his his preliminary hearing where he where he played uh, where he played nasty charades because they they put him in the other room because he couldn't behave himself and then and then he just made all, every uh, vulgar gesture he could think of while claiming not to hear that comes up that comes up in here it's interesting it's not particularly funny uh, but. But it'll give you uh, an update on what's going on with Jeffrey Bloom. Let, let's do it, shall we? Numbers 26, 27, and 28, People versus Jeffrey Bloom, 21344FH, 22673FH, and 22675FC. Good afternoon, Your Honor. Amy Reiser appearing on behalf of the people. Good afternoon. Uh, Jeff, would you state your name for the record, please? Jeffrey Bloom. Uh, Good Judge, afternoon. Judge, you set this hearing in part um, to see how Jeff and I were getting along. I, I will be quite frank with, frank with the court. Jeff and I have had our ups and downs. I just want to tell Jeff I still want to be his attorney. I still think he and I can work this matter out, including going to trial. And um, But again, though, I, 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 I'll just leave it at that and I'll let Jeff say what he wants to say. Okay, so before we get to Mr. Bloom, Ms. Reiser, was there anything you wanted to put on the record? No, Your Honor, we had some further investigation that was requested um, while I was on medical leave, um, and the first attempt at that further investigation was refused by the defendant, so it did not take place. Um, the Sheriff's Department was um, professional and set that up again, and he was transported to the Michigan State Police Northville Post for that further investigation, and that has been done, and I provided that supplemental report to uh, Mr. Killowell. So we've complied with the statutory obligation. I would just put that on the record. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. So anything further before I turn to Mr. Bloom on that subject, Mr. Killowell? No, Your Honor, I, I received the results of that. Um, I went okay. and spoke with uh, Jeff about that. Um, he disagreed of what actually had happened, but nonetheless, um, I'd still like to remain his attorney on the three. If the, he's got a VOP, uh, uh, one matter of resisting the police officers, and then the most serious matter. Um, again, I, I'd love. I don't know how Robert Kilwell can, can say he still wants to be the attorney. Yes, they have a thick skin. Yes, they're used to defendants being nasty. But but th this is a special case. It, it really is. And and he was absolutely out of control uh, while he was trying to represent him during the preliminary hearing. I'd like to be his attorney, but I guess it's his turn to talk now. Okay. Mr. Bloom, good afternoon. What good would afternoon. you like me to know? Uh, Your Honor, I, I would really like to just have like five minutes to place some things on the record before I, or do I just talk about Mr. Kilowald? Can I place a few things on the record? Well, the thing is, I'm not sure what you're going to say. I'm not going, I'm not sure if it's advisable for you to say them. If you restrict what you're about to say to um Mr. You know, the subject of your it representation, is. It is. then that would be um, better. So you may proceed. Yes, ma'am. I, I just want to say it first. Uh, I've made Mr. Kilowall aware of barbaric treatment here at the jail. As you see, I'm in handcuffs, Your Honor. Uh, I have been sleep. I have been subjected lately to sleep deprivation. They have started closing all the doors. These three doors outside of my cell in Max area. Uh, I haven't slept more than a half hour at a time for over a month. Okay, Your Honor. So my thoughts are a little scattered, and I, I, I'm trying to be articulate. They and usually let are. you know that. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to continue with, with Mr. Kilowald. Can I refer to you as Bob, Mr. Kilowald? Sure, sure Jeff. No that's problem. what I'm used to calling him. So, 
so we don't have any further confusion. Anyway, Your Honor, when, uh, okay, back on, they stole all my paperwork. I made Mr. Uh, uh, Bob aware of this, that on June 6th, uh, Lieutenant Arnett, that was, I was made aware, had 12 emails with Ms. Reiser, okay, discussing me and my health and all kinds of stuff. Uh, one of Arnett's staff told me this, and there was an incident on November 6th where Ms. Reiser and Lieutenant Arnett, who are both officers of the court, correct? Uh, they deliberately misled. This is Villegas versus Metro government in Nashville. Okay, I would like to cite this on the record. These officers of the court deliberately misled Judge Simpson uh, and made statements with reckless dis disregard for the truth, Your Honor, that placed me in a uh, ITR 7 cell where they put me in a suicide gown. They uh, put the tablet outside the food good. slot, but I have to give it to Mr. Bob. He did file a motion for an in-person preliminary, okay? Ms. Reiser didn't want that. I, I, I figured it out now that they've taken my property again. Ms. Reiser didn't want me to hear the testimony in ITR 7 audio and video that I have seen here at the jail will show you clearly I wasn't able to hear said testimony. I asked Mr. Killawald to please file a motion. Oh, I have the video here on Law Talk with Mike. He does not want to show that to a judge. I repeat, he does not want to show video of that hearing to a judge. Because of misconduct to remand me back to preliminary examination. Okay. He refused that. I, I've asked him since December to do that. Then I asked him, well, Mr. Kilowald, if you won't do that, will you have an evidentiary hearing before you, Your Honor? Because I trust your judgment with the evidence of Ms. Weiser and the evidence that I have. Uh, they say a picture is worth a thousand words, right? So a video must be worth 10,000 words, correct? Now, the pictures that I oh, have it is. are 11 hours after the supposed incident. I, I'm not going to give away everything away. I just want you to know this one thing. I have photos and videos of Tiffany, a supposed victim in this case, 11 hours after the supposed incident <laughs> was supposed to end, and there isn't a mark on her. But Jeff, you, Jeff, Jeff, hold on. Just let me say one time. Just be careful what you say. I am. I am. This is the only thing I'm going to give up about this. Okay. Your Honor, if, if we could have an evidentiary hearing, with, and Mr. Kilowald said, no, we're not going to have any of that. And when I asked Mr. Kilowald, what have you done besides everything that I've asked you to do? You have given the prosecution a way out. Everything, Your Honor. I have told him, if you do this just like he stopped you from doing tons of stupid crap like what you're proposing right now, for starters. This, they will have no way out of these lies. He always gives them a way out, just like Mr. Thomas, Lieutenant yes, Thomas Barnett. He covered for this man, stealing my law work, Your Honor. He has every scrap of everything that I plan to call on my defense. He has every scrap of grievances and the documentation that a civil rights attorney told me to take of everything that goes on in this jail. Okay, he took all that. And Mr. Kilowalt refused to do anything. I asked Mr. Kilowalt to call the ACLU. He left a message with the ACLU saying that I, I'm the problem, is, is what I was made to understand. He, he throws me under the bus at every turn. For Jeff, some Jeff, well, Jeff. well, I doubt he said that, but you are, in fact, the problem. Jeff, Jeff one, I, just for the record, I he I, wants to interrupt me and I'll be muted. Okay, go Jeff, ahead. Bob. Jeff, I'm go sorry. I, ne I never threw you under the bus. So oh. I, I called the ACLU. If that's how you feel. That's fine. But I never threw you under the bus. Well, what about when, when I, I tell you to resign off this case multiple times for multiple months, 
even before the preliminary, I asked you, the, I said, Bob, the only reason I'm keeping you is because you're aware of the history with me and Tiffany, where they're denying that there was ever a history. You're aware of it. Okay. You're aware of the domestic violence situation that happened on 7-11. I asked you to get that police report and maybe show that to Ms. Reiser and say what that police report says about Tiffany. You refuse to take any of the evidence. And I told you this last time we visited, Your Honor, I have given Mr. Killawald five times the evidence, plus photo and video evidence I've made him aware of. And I said, look, you can take this to Ms. Reiser. Exactly. If she is about her oath to seek the truth and not just a conviction, she will have a lot of questions for the people that have accused me of these crimes, Your Honor. Your Honor, I'm aware that I've got three files in your courtroom and I've been in a lot of trouble. Okay, I understand that. But to accuse me of the things I'm being accused of, but you can look in there and see that I have never, there's, I am, that is the most disgusting, disrespectful thing you could ever say about me. When I think of something like that happening to somebody, Speaking of disgusting and disrespectful, I, I really, really do wish they, it doesn't happen, but I really, really do wish they'd pull up a uh, video of the hearing in question here. I think of my mother. I think of somebody doing it to my mother. When I was in prison, I attacked people for those things. And I'm not ashamed to oh, say that. Sweet Jesus. But your honor, I attack people in prison. Uh, that's what you want to announce in court. And behold... Behold the beauty of a man and his feelings. There he is crying. I get I get yelled at all the time for it. There it is. If you if you like it here here you get to see a man and his feelings publicly. I guess I need to just stick to the facts here and let you know, Your Honor. I have I have been made for eight months ever since Amy Riser told those lies to Judge Simpson. I have been a level one prisoner. They deny me right. showers for four and five days at a time sometimes. And when I do get to take a shower, I'm in handcuffs like this, Your Honor. I can't even move how much. To me, Your Honor, cleanliness is next to godliness. And I think you probably feel the same. This is barbaric. I've been abused. I was assaulted by an officer McKay at the hands of a Sergeant Burris. It's on video. There's no getting around it. The civil rights attorney that I have looking into this is from Bloomfield Hills, Your Honor. She's not buying any of this. And anyway, I don't think I can carry on with Mr. Kilowall. What does Bloomfield Hills have to do with that? <laughs> I'm just curious. Because the last thing he said to me several times when I told him he needed to file a motion to resign from my case, he said, if you fire me, you're going to get 30 years. And he'll wave like this. And he'll walk out. <laughs> now, I don't know if that happened or not, but if it did, it doesn't bother me. <laughs> That's exactly what he needs to hear from his attorney. <laughs> you keep going like this. You don't listen to me or anybody like me. You're going away. That's That doesn't bother me if it happened. I, I'm not going to say I've been an angel with Mr. Killawald because every officer here will tell you me and him have gone at it in that interview room, okay? But, Your Honor, when someone comes up here and this is a uh, rest of my life situation and you smirk at me and you laugh at me when I'm being totally serious with you, and I asked you, what kind of evidence are, he says he's ready for trial. And we haven't even gone over the, the transcripts. Not one page of the transcripts have been gone over. Anyway, Your Honor, excuse me. If someone in the chat can tell me what where where that video is, because I, th I think I had something. Uh, I, I, I can't remember what the thumbnail says. But now, now I want to show 30 seconds of it, j just to show the irony of, hi of him. Uh, complaining about other people not being nice. I don't mean to be emotional, but, you know, I've been here 11 months for things that are despicable. And I'm worried about my mother. I haven't seen my mother in a year. Uh, if I get another attorney, Your Honor, can you make an evidence you're hearing? 
Can you if demand? You got, if you get another attorney, what did you just say then after that? Can you demand there be an evidentiary hearing before you with your wisdom and knowledge? No, I'm not going to do that because I cannot advocate for you. I can appoint other counsel, advocates for you, but I am not going to second guess your attorney's judgment on what should or should not go to hearing. If there were things that happened before Judge Simpson, um, you know, it, a motion has to be filed. Um, they should have been taken up at that time before Judge Simpson. Um, I'm not going to make any decisions other okay. than other well, this, than can I who's going to represent you. Can I intervene to that? Uh, the, what I said before, Mr. Kilowall, I asked him to file a motion for a remand to preliminary because of the blatant, provable, undeniable things that were said. Ms. Reiser told Judge Simpson, Arnett, let me say, let me reiterate, uh, Lieutenant Thomas Arnett and Ms. Reiser told Judge Simpson to get it where I couldn't have an in-person preliminary for other reasons that I cannot prove, but ITR7 video can't. Okay. Anyway, Your Honor, the two of them Yep. Uh, told Judge Simpson that I was physically assaulting officers, that I was throwing urine and feces on staff and officers. And, Your Honor, there isn't an officer here, one that will ever say that I've been that, that kind of problem ever in this jail since 1982. Okay. That being said, Your Honor, I, I, I uh, just hope something maybe – a civil rights attorney or someone will come see me about the barbaric treatment that I've, I've been made to take showers for eight months with handcuffs, Your Honor. Yep. Tell me that's legal. Is that legal? Thank you. Okay. So an indigent defendant is entitled to the appointment of a lawyer at public expense, but not entitled to choose his lawyer. He may, however, become entitled to have an assigned lawyer replaced Thank based you. on a showing of adequate cause for a change in lawyers. So that's what I need to find, adequate cause. And a mere allegation of lack of confidence no, in his not lawyer it. That's not it, does, not, I have no does trust. not rise to that level. There's However, no because this is the first attorney who has been appointed to represent you on this case, and you're alleging that he has not done things that you think in the exercise of his professional judgment he should be doing, I will um, grant your motion and appoint substitute counsel. At the indigent defense attorney commission is going to decide which attorney is going to be appointed. The court doesn't have a say in that, but I will order that substitute counsel be appointed. I apologize, Bob. I apologize. I just don't think you can handle this, buddy. I don't. You're a good guy. I like you as a person. I just don't think you're adequate. I'm sorry. So we do have a final pretrial that's set for July 20th. And um, what I'm going to do is just have that set for a regular pretrial. I'm not going to make any decision about the trial date at this point, which is August. I'm going to show a little clip of it when this is done, just to give everybody the context. It's 21st. Thanks um, for pointing it out to me. It's likely that. A replacement attorney is going to need more time, but I understand that you've been incarcerated for quite some time, and I don't want to um, get in the way if an attorney is able to come up to speed and give you the attention that um, your case deserves and could be ready by August 21st, then, then we can go ahead. Um, so I know that Mr. Killewald, um has presented orders allowing withdrawal. 
I will sign those when another attorney is appointed. So there may be a couple day delay until the Indigent Defense um, Commission um, designates who the substitute attorney is going to be, and then those orders will be signed on. Well, the most important case is the CSC case, of course. Do you also want um, substitute attorney on the probation violation case, Mr. Bloom? No, you know, I think Bob can handle that. I really do. I, I did two hour status call I mean, today. If he's too. got a problem with me doing what I'm doing now, then maybe he should resign from that too. But Mr. Kellerwald? Holy. Okay, so he wants to fire his attorney on the on the primary cases, but keep him on the violation of probation. This is that's just nuts. That's just nuts. Judge, just, uh -huh. Jeff's made a lot of allegations against me. I, I, you, you know, I, I will say to the court, I've been to this jail every dang Sunday for the last year seeing Jeff. So I, 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 I kind of resent some of the things he said. I understand his frustration. I do, I do, um, and you haven't even filed a motion for bond or anything. Nothing. You filed one motion to have he's, me in person. Take a vacation from, from his problem. Riser was allowed to. Okay, Jeff, I'm not going to argue the case. I, I, okay. I you know what, Jeff? Right. I apologize. I, I did everything I could for you. Thank you. You, you don't see it that way, Judge. Thank I would like get up on all matters. Okay. So then we'll ask for a substitute counsel on all three cases. Um, and the next date will be July 20th at 1.30 for a pretrial. So we'll see you then, Mr. Bloom. Um, has, May I add one thing? Yes. The I'm, being denied, uh, <laughs> I'm being denied access to the court. I'm being denied law library. I'm being denied. I haven't seen a... Either the fly lawyer or the Texas law hawk. One of those two could could definitely fix this. <laughs> Newspaper, a TV, a radio, no news, no calendar, no clock, no writing surface. Or m m For the entire time I've been here. I just want to place that on the record, Your Honor. Thank you. Okay. And um, there was one other thing I was going to say, and it just escaped me now. Um, I'll be here on July 20th, Your Honor. I'll be staying on the file as the prosecutor. Okay. Okay. Perfect. So we'll take it up then. Perfect. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a good day. Okay. So here we go. Let me let me do this. And she couldn't be here that day. Right, she right, she right, the last hearing. Okay, so let's say, let's say, Mr. Kilowog, that she could have been there this day, that the deputy got up, told me something, I'm completely fooled, and she's now, she's here now. All right, here what is Noel's glory. to do with any? I, I guess I'm not making my point. The office no. representative that she represented. Do it better. Document that says this is the behavior he wants to show. Correct. All I'm asking is for verification of that, Your Honor. It goes to her credibility. This is the uh, apparently the video. Because he wants to show the judge now. Be true. It's just going to tell. saying that she was in the hospital for some other reason. There are plenty of people that were in the hospital for other reasons and also had COVID. So I don't know what the COVID thing is to do with. That's what the problem is. If your issue is, or your point is, is that she was in the hospital because of something else, then I'd suggest you get right to it and just ask her. Were you in the hospital for COVID? I was in the hospital for COVID. And it was not for And anything. I was quarantined for two days. And it was not for any other type of physical assault. Yeah. That's setting up. Okay, but I just need to get past this. It isn't relevant. I agree, but if he's saying that she's in the hospital for something else, both can be true. 
that doesn't mean that she lied about the about having COVID. Sustain their burden of showing by probable cause the offenses and as amended <laughs> as in regards to the one underlying slope. felony as to count one and count eight, um, as well as to count four with its amendment, um, with its amended language to include um, harm to the individual less than the crime of murder. The court does believe that the people have sustained their burden on each and every count, including the request, uh, requested added counts of eight and nine of CSC one and CSC three, and therefore the defendant is bound over in this case to stand trial on all nine counts. Uh, please tell me I'm into this one. Well, there you have it. I, 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 I couldn't just grab the best parts uh, that quickly, although I'm glad I found it. Just, just to give a little sampling. He, he gets he gets crude, but that, that's a long video. That's uh, Wild Court Moments 202. Thank you, chat, for getting that to me. Um, but, he, you know, he's flipping people off and making crude signs and just generally making an ass of himself the entire time. And he, and he ends up in jail because he made a complete ass of himself in open court. And I have some of that hearing as well. And now he wants to cry about people not being nice to him. And fire his attorney who's doing a perfectly good job. <laughs> Is it Thirsty Thursday? I'm not thirsty. I, I, got, I, got, I got some water going here. Woo! Big times. Big times at the Law Talk with Mike Lair. <laughs> All right. I just had to do it. I saw that uh, I've I've done a bunch of videos on him. There's a bunch of videos floating around because every time he every time he shows up in court, you know, he's shouting the judge down or swearing or making a threat or once they have him put in jail, they have him or once they have him back in the cell, he he just does whatever crude thing he can do with his hands or face or whatever whatever he can get in front of the camera. But now. Now he's all upset. Now his feelers are hurt. His feelers are hurt, and he doesn't he, he doesn't think that people are being nice. I I'm having a hard time caring. I really am. But judge let him get a new attorney. I don't know who the new one's gonna be. <laughs> but good luck. Good luck. That's uh that's a tough assignment. We'll see how it goes. I'll I'll keep you uh, updated as uh, as new stuff happens. Just thought I would uh, squeeze that in. Thanks a lot for coming out. I appreciate it. I will see you all soon. Wait. What was the lady? the The judge in this case was O'Brien. I don't know if that's what you're referring to, but the ju the, the judge on, in the hearing that we were just watching is Judge O'Brien. All right. I will see you all soon.